Susanna O'Reilly. I play Naomi Canning in Neighbours. And I'm standing here with an Eiffel Tower because the show that I'm about to do at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival is called The Height of the Eiffel Tower. It varies by eight centimetres depending on the temperature. Um, which we'll be playing at the Assembly Hall from the 31st of July to the 25th of August. Woohoo! So I have some fan questions here. <laughs> which I'm going to endeavour to answer with amazing, eloquent, interesting answers. Ready? Okay. Kylie Rooney George asks, why do you think Naomi goes after married men? P.S. you are a phenomenal actress. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kylie. That's lovely. Well, I think Naomi likes what she can't have. There's a little something. She's a bit spoiled, so she sees something that she wants and she goes for it. And maybe there's something about married men where they they don't try too hard with her. Oh, that is so good. Considering I was going to have a bowl of cereal for dinner. Whoa, I'm lucky I came around. <laughs> Maybe she's used to men trying a bit much. So, yeah, that grass is greener thing. She needs to watch out for that. Thank you for asking, though. I'm just going to pop that there and ask, ask as well. Rebecca Peacock. Peacock is a great last name. <laughs> um, asks, do, do you enjoy playing a villain on the show or would you prefer to be good? I really love playing somebody like Naomi. She gets up to no good and it is so different from me that I love it. So, but she's got a good heart, don't you think? She's not fully evil, right? Right? Rubbish! Oh, no wonder he died to get away from you. Oh. Ladies, please, this is not helping. Basically, yes. Yes, I do enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah Wood asks, what characteristics would the love of Naomi's life have? I think from what you've just seen with the toady fiasco that actually she wants just a good man. I think if you'd asked her a couple of years ago she would have said money, please, and comfort and creature comforts in a pretty house. But I think now she just wants a good man who loves her for who she is. Don't we all? Oh God. Thank you for asking. What do you think? Who would you like? Kirsty Wilson asks, no sorry, Christy, sorry, um, in real life, who would you snog, marry and avoid out of Kyle, Brennan or Josh? In real life or Naomi? I think I'm going to answer as Naomi because I'm a happily married woman so <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. I think that Naomi would snog Josh, <laughs> well she wouldn't avoid Kyle but I don't think she'd do anything else because he's her nephew. That could get a bit weird. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, marry Brennan? I guess that leaves only Brennan to marry. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know if that would work very well, but it's sort of like the last option. So, yeah, Brennan. <sighs> Sounds dirty. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Thank you for all your questions. That is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two, or just click right here to subscribe to the Neighbours TV YouTube channel.